recently took a look at an Orico external M.2 USB 4 enclosure that was quite fast. I liked it, so I decided why not take a look at some of their M.2 offerings. And we have two things to look at here. We have a 2TB PCI Express 4 NVMe M.2 SSD. So many things you gotta say. And we also have a PCI Express 3. This is a 1TB PCI Express 3 M.2 NVMe SSD. And other acronyms and initialisms. No, they're all initialisms and whatever. Thanks to Hookies for sponsoring this video. Now these are OEM Windows keys. That means that you do your own tech support. You're not going to be relying on Microsoft and they're generally locked to the hardware. We got a coupon code. Click on buy now. Put in coupon code TS25. Hit apply and that price comes down. Now when you compare that to the outrageous prices from Microsoft, you'd have to buy this many, many, many times to equal the price of one regular key from Microsoft. As of right now, this Windows 10 Pro key will unlock Windows 11. We also have Windows 10 Home. Windows 11, you can buy it directly. Windows 11 Home. And we have two flavors of Office. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here. Go to your user center. Click on My Purchase Orders. Just View, Keys, and Codes. Then you can just copy and paste your key. Hit Start. Type Activate. Click on Activation Settings. Paste it in there. Click on Next. And you will be activated. So head on over to hookies.com to get yourself an OEM Windows key at a price that makes sense. So yeah, we got these two. Now I'm going to get into the nerdy stuff under the hood about the controller and everything when we do the tests because I can look at hardware info and just see what's going on there. But right now I want to talk about these two drives and uh, just what you get in the package and everything. First off, let's just cover the warranty because that's something with M.2 people are like, okay, maybe you haven't heard of this brand that much and you want to know what they're offering and what the warranty is. Now on the one terabyte drive, you get a 300 TBW warranty. That's terabytes written. So as long as you're not writing over that, then you'll be just fine. And that's for three years. So three-year warranty, unless you go over that that TB ridden, the uh, 300 TB ridden. On the two terabyte drive, you get 600 terabytes ridden over the course of three years. So that's your warranty. Let's say you're a crazy person and you're writing 150 gigabytes per day. Well, it's still going to take you almost six years to get to that 300 TBW. Most people, you know, you'll install a 150 gigabyte game like the new uh, Final Fantasy or you'll install Elden Ring or something like that. And then you'll play it for weeks. So you have one day where you, you know, move around 150 gigabytes of, of data. But then for the next week, you're only moving one to two gigabytes of data. Most people are going to be able to use this for 10 or 15 years before they even get close to that 300 TBW. So before we give them a test, we got to put them in their armor. That's right. They came with some pretty cool armor. Let's talk about what's in the package. Oh, by the way, these are size 2280, just the standard 2280 in size. So they come with a heat sink. I said armor because it's not just any regular heat sink. A lot of the heat sinks you see, they're just like a thermal pad and then a little thing with some fins that goes on top. Well, this is clad all the way around. There's a little piece of metal that goes on the bottom, then a thermal heat pad that goes on the bottom. Then you got a thermal heat pad that goes on top and then your fins that all clip together and you don't need any rubber bands or nonsense like that. And I don't really care for those rubber bands that a lot of people put onto the M.2 because yeah, they work for a little while, but I've seen that they've gotten brittle after a couple of years and then they'll snap off or some of them I'll touch and they'll just like disintegrate. This one, the metal actually snaps together and makes like a little M.2 sandwich. Delicious bite size M.2. Put that speed in your mouth the fastest snack you'll ever have. Ugh. All right, so now let's go ahead and test these out. They advertise 7,000 on the read and 6,500 on the right for the two terabyte M.2, but let's just hop in and see what our test results say. I just do one of these. This is a quick and silly test, but you know, still gives you an idea of what it's gonna be like to work with while you're just like editing and stuff. This Orico is even faster than the, the C drive, which is also a PCI Express. Uh, Gen 4 card or Gen 4 M.2. It is slightly faster. It's not even raising the temperature. I'm like refreshing the temperature over here. 48 C. There we go. Finally. So get a load of that. Those temperatures right there. Ridiculously good temperature. So that little sandwich that we made is paying off. All right. Let's see what we got over here with Crystal Disk Info. Tells us the firmware. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a test, shall we? Using Crystal Disk Mark. And I'm also going to be monitoring the temperature and everything right here. It's very very cool. Look at this, like in between tests, it like drops to 38. It like goes back down so quickly. That's it. <laughs> and then drop right back down. My God, that is nice and cool. So 7114 on the read, 6427.88 on the right. And take a look at these temperatures. We maxed out at 51 degrees. It's immediately back down to a nice idle of 38. Let's take a look at the IOPS right here. 261,326.17. Look at those random 4Ks. 195,687. 
did another test it got 100 and, or got an, and another test i did it got 196 but i forgot to do with the temperatures so yeah this is the official one we're going to go with it's stupid fast and extremely cool so that little sandwich that we built all right let's try out addo disk benchmark So notice how it keeps shift. Notice how it keeps shifting like between 50 and 38. It seems to be like 50 when we're doing reads and writes, and then right back down to 38 as soon as it's like taking a pause to queue up the next thing in line. Looks like we maxed out at like uh, 6.63 gigabytes per second on the read and 5.55 I think on the write. Yeah, 5.61 right there on the right. So pretty similar performance. Not quite as good here with Addo Disk Mark or Disk Benchmark. This one got to 50 degrees, not quite 51. So another good benchmark here. Let's go ahead and try out that one terabyte drive. All right, so, you know, I just decided to swap out the M.2. This heat spreader is so hot, and that means it's doing its job. It's pulling the heat away from the M.2. And yeah, it's, oh, it's warm. I'm just going to let it sit here for a minute it's been like three or four minutes already but it is that is warm but that's what i want to feel i want it to be here and not on the m.2 so it's dissipating the heat correctly all right so let's take a look at the information we're getting here from our orco j10 this is the one terabyte pci express gen 3 by 4 this one's going to be a little bit slower and it's got different stuff going on under the hood. We've got a host controller from Realtek. You can see all that there. I'll scroll down so you can see the rest of the information right here. Smart information, all that. All right, so this is a speed test designed to simulate editing and working in an editing environment. Just does read and write back and forth and test things out. So we can see what the temperature is doing right there. Go over here, this is the one that's being tested. So we can see performance is pretty good. This test is almost more of a real world use case. You can see all the details over here with H.265 and everything. ProRes, Blackmagic RAW, all that kind of stuff. So this kind of gets us warmed up. All right, let's head over and do Crystal Disk Mark. Pick my one terabyte drive right there and just run all the tests and we'll watch the temperatures as well. So during testing, I noticed that it wasn't going any higher than 40 degrees. So I talked to the manufacturer and they said, oh yeah, that version of the firmware, that's the early version of the firmware and it's accidentally locked at 40 degrees. They have updated that. So anything you order is going to have accurate readings on the temperature. Since we can't read the internal temperature, we're gonna read the external temperature. I'm gonna break out my heat gun and we'll see what it looks like. 3257 on the read and 1940 on the right. Exactly what I expected out of a PCI Express Gen 3 by four. Take a look at the IOPS right here. 195, 257. On the right, 159. 530. All right, let's try Addo Disk Benchmark. All right, let's see what we got here. 3.05 looks like the max gigabytes per second on the read. 1.83 gigabytes per second on the right maximum. You can compare this to whatever you have at home if you like. All right, so on the top of the heat spreader right now, we are getting this, 51.9. It's normally like six to seven degrees warmer. So running around 60 degrees, I'm gonna guesstimate at the highest, but we'll see when it gets to the right test because that is where we really wanna check the, the performance. All right, so on the right test there, I guess the right's a little slower, 49.8. So we're gonna guesstimate that it's in the mid 50s which is completely acceptable. So we'll just say mid 50s, I'll do one more. All right, we got 59.3 during the write test right here. Probably getting close to 65 at this point. So my best estimate is that we're topping out around the 65, 65 degrees Celsius mark, which is totally fine for a drive like this. So there you have it, the Orico M.2 in a couple different variety. So which one's gonna be good for you? If you're building anything with PCI Express Gen 4 and you want extreme speeds, then yeah, you gotta get the PCI Express Gen 4. If you're going to be doing a, a portable M.2, like one of the USB 4 enclosures that is USB 4 or Thunderbolt 3 or better, then you can be just fine with the PCI Express 3 because the, you know, the PCI Express 4, it's got extra speed, but you're not going to be able to take advantage of that because 
it's going to go way beyond the theoretical speeds of USB 4. So you'll be just fine with the Gen 3 by 4. That's also good for older computers or placing stuff in older computers, stuff that doesn't need like extreme performance, like maybe a NAS or something, and you want to put some caching in there, all kinds of different applications. So and a lot of times you can even get one of these and use like the PCI Express Gen 4 as your main M.2, so you can have super snappy operating system performance and all that kind of stuff, and then get one of the less expensive Gen 3 by 4 and use that as your secondary or your storage or your music or your media. You don't need 7,000 megabytes per second when it comes to viewing media. That's That would be ridiculous. You'd be fine with a regular spinning disk 120 megabytes per second hard drive instead of, you know, 7,000 megabytes per second. So it's all dependent upon what you need. You're doing like video editing, 3D work, and you want everything to be really snappy with your 4K videos or whatever. PC Express 4. If you're, I mean, this would be just fine too, really. So yeah, it all depends on what you need, how snappy you need it to be and how much you want to spend. So these are the Oreoco M.2. All of the links are going to be in the description. The prices may go up and down, so be sure to click on the links down there to see what the latest prices are. Now let's head over to epicpants.com and see what's on sale. Of course, the mouse pads are still going to be on sale. I'm keeping them on sale for a little while because I got a bunch of them over there and they're awesome. Gaming grade surfaces, the best. Gaming grade surfaces and uh, awesome rubber on the back. So yeah, go ahead and grab some of those while they're on sale. And you know, I'm not sure what else is going to be on sale because this video is probably not going to come out for a couple of weeks. But just check over there. Maybe it'll be. Maybe I got a bunch of T-shirts I'm going to do for five dollars. I don't know. I'm I'm wild. All right, I'll see you in the comments. Mm -hmm.